Hello there, my name is Cornelius and today I'm going to be showing you how to do masking in Blender. Okay, maybe someone someone may be asking what is masking? Here's what I mean. Just press F12. Okay, I'm going to render this. Okay, as you can see now in this scene, I was creating my friend Emmanuel doing earth bending using Blender. Actually, let me let me give you the, actually the main point of masking. Okay, so I have masked him, as you can see here. Uh, he's actually that this little plane is actually representing him in the 3D view. What he's basically going to do is carry this stone and earth bend it upward. Look, I'm going to take it upward. Yep, and take it somewhere like here. Now, with masking, you're going to see that this stone is actually going to appear in front of him. In front, okay, like this. Oops, the stone was poorly textured. Actually, this was incomplete. Sorry. Yep. Anyway. Here's what I mean. You see now, I have masked Emma. Emmanuel, actually, we call him Emma for short. And what happens is that this stone appears to be in front of him. As you can see here, the ages and, the ages and all these things, it appears to be in front of him. But look what happens when I don't use masking. I take this his mask to another layer. Press, I'll press M and then press 2. Bam. Okay, there. Now when I press F12 to render, look the difference. Just as it appears now. Now the stone appears to be behind him, which is not actually something that you want. For example, okay, you want this stone to appear in front of him. So, I think you get the point of masking. So, what basically masking does is that is it makes this person over here to look like he's behind something or in front of something, however you want it. That is just one of the use that I've shown here. So, how do you do it? Very simple. I'm going to show you how I did it. I don't want to start all over again but I'll just show you how I did it what I basically did was like uh, let me put take it to a new scene uh, okay there new cop no, copy settings boom there we have it I wonder if they got the part okay so here we have it so what I did actually I press shift a add mesh plane I took the plane I rotated it uh, ara x 90 degrees press enter go to edit mode select one vertice and press control I delete the other x vertices boom now I have my vertice I'll take it here <coughs> Okay, so like I'll take it, I'll start from the foot, I mean the feet, take it over there, to make, th to make this easier, I'll uh, enable screen, uh, screen cast keys, is it, okay, start display, okay, so I, ho I hold on control, I'll take this off, it will be like a distraction, okay, I'll zoom it in to have a better view, Okay, I what I did is like hold control and start clicking and it uh, extrudes automatically. So like I'm masking him, uh, you can do it better, I'm actually in a hurry, I don't want to put this too long. Some people complain like they have low bandwidth or stuff, something like that. So like that. So uh, at least you get the point, right? 
I don't have to finish this. When you're done, for example, just give you an example. You press all of them. I mean, you select all of them. Press A, and then you set, press Control F. Then you click. Uh, where is that uh, fill? Something like that. But it won't work here. I think you need to start like create some of the faces. Oh, oh! Actually, you can do it manually. Select like four face I mean vertices or three. Then you press F. There you have it, a face. Then you do it for like the whole thing. Maybe after you've done something like this, you know. Yeah. Actually, I don't want to waste time. Okay, so you have it. When you already like created a mesh in front of him, make sure that it's facing the camera because actually I was on the front view. So make sure it's going to be facing him on the on the camera view. Go back to my scene. Once you have, once you have uh, <coughs> the mesh like this one, uh, make sure that before before you do anything, you click your origin and click origin to geometry, so that the origin of the object is actually at the object itself. So you select that object, go to materials. Once you go to materials, you come here to transparency. Then you click mask. Once you click mask, you set the alpha to zero. Bam. Now when you render, your object, I mean your human being has been masked. And now the objects will start appearing in front of him instead behind. You can even add some cube. Yep, some cube. Uh, shift A and mesh cube. Okay, click this. So, if I set this cube in front of this mask, I'll call it mask, it will appear in front of him in the render. And even it even has shadows. Look at the magic. Even it is even casting shadows. So, my friend Emma here is Earthbend, but beware. Look at here. I didn't mask him well. I mean, cube looks like it has been cut. Actually, no, it hasn't been. So, that is masking. Another thing that you may want to know it's another type of masking, actually. I did it. Uh, you see a plane here, but you find that it is invisible. But it's not. Actually, this plane it only receives shadows so i'm using it like a ground so what i did i added a new material i did not set it mask i like calling this another type of mask because sometimes it acts like a ground mask it doesn't appear but receives shadow makes it looks more realistic what i did i went here to shadows and click uh oops what happened this one looks different. Okay. <coughs> I, we may click here. Shadow only. Shadow only. Once you do that, your object will be receiving shadows. But I think something is wrong with this one. But actually... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. This has double materials. Sorry. Actually, this was the material inside. Okay, anyway, that is what you do. I'm very sorry that um, this tutorial is falling apart. I'll do that again. Okay, so add new material. Once you add new material, go to the shadows. Click shadow only. And set uh, shadow only. Yep. Once you press F12, the thing actually receives shadows just look at the magic the cube it feels like it was there <laughs> isn't that fun yes of course it is fun it is fun once you do that you you feel like you're there except you have to be careful with this mask as you can see it appears like it is in a 2d two dimensions but anyway it's very good actually 
for example for this mask it doesn't need to cast shadow shadows it doesn't need to cast shadows it doesn't need to cast shadows okay. oops sorry my grandma is calling me i post as i was saying that emmanuel doesn't need to cast shadow on this environment because he's already casting shadows because he was already there so all you need is for these other objects that you have kept them there using blender or any other 3d software they need to feel like they're there in that environment so that's it you see this object is casting shadow over here this cube has a shadow yep so okay so how do you make this mask not cast shadows uh, i'm not sure let me check here uh, okay i think somewhere here actually i've forgotten so i'm not going to lie but yeah you may try something but that's basically it masking <laughs> that's how you do masking in blender my name is cornelius see you again